Police say the two drivers could have exchanged insurance information. Instead, they exchanged words, leading one to pull a knife and the other to hit the gas. News 4's Ida Siegel live at the scene along East 60th Street, where one driver ended up under the wheel of the other's sedan. Ida. Yeah, that's right, David. I'm on the corner of Lexington, and the sedan that you mentioned is still on scene here. It's just halfway down the block behind me here near that restaurant shed. The driver of that sedan, a Jetta, is in police custody tonight. The other driver he hit is dead, but police say there is a lot more to this story. At first sight, it appears to be a routine fender bender. One car on the sidewalk, a truck pulled over. But police say what happened here was actually a vicious case of road rage that ended with the 54-year-old driver of this Chevy Silverado getting run over and killed. Citizen App video shows firefighters trying to save his life as they brought him away on a stretcher. He was unconscious, he wasn't moving very much. Police say it was four in the afternoon and the Silverado was going west on East 60th Street. The driver of this Jetta was in the lane beside him and at some point their two vehicles hit each other, lightly, side by side, according to police. A fight ensued and police say the driver of the Silverado got out of his truck with a knife and slashed two tires on the Jetta. He came around to the front of the Jetta. He was going to try to stab the other passenger side. Police say the driver of the Jetta had two children in the back and a female passenger up front. He put his foot on the gas and hit the knife-wielding truck driver, jumping the curb and pinning the man to the wall, shattering the glass window of this cafe. The Silverado driver died at the hospital. That's road rage uh, on steroids. Uh, it's it's kind of on 60th Street, no less. It's kind of scary. Police took the Jetta driver into custody, but the question remains did he commit a crime? Do you think he should not be charged with a crime? No, he should not. He was just trying to protect his family. It's such a shame, and I, I can't even imagine what that family is going through, and I feel so bad about it. But at the end of the day, like. People don't think before they act sometimes, and this is the outcome of the situation, and, and looking at that down the street is just, it's so heartbreaking. Even Mayor Adams stopped by to check on the investigation. we do an investigation, and they're going to determine what's the best thing, uh, what exactly happened here. And again, at this point, the driver of the Jetta has not been charged with a crime. Investigators are looking to collect all the surveillance video they can find on this block, interview all the witnesses, and then ultimately the district attorney will decide whether or not charges are appropriate. Reporting live from the Upper East Side, Ida Siegel, News 4, New York.